was just out in the garden this morning and I have stumbled across some Coprinus atraminus. I think that's how you say it in Latin, some inky caps. So I'm gonna make some mushroom ink with them. So here are the little inky caps nestled away. I'm just gonna pick some of the caps off, see how they, they fall off super easily. And you can see I'm already starting to get some ink on my hands. I'm just gonna pop them into this little jar. So these mushrooms are easily identifiable by their inkiness. You can just see it excreting this lovely thick inky substance which is going to turn into our ink. We want to store the mushrooms inside somewhere nice and dry. We want to leave them for about a week for maximum inkiness. Don't need to do anything to them because the ink is a part of their natural decomposition process. I am super impatient so I decanted some into this smaller bowl and added some water to create a sort of watercolour paint. I'm not much of a painter um, so I actually ended up painting a shaggy ink cap which is different to the mushrooms we found today but it's of the same genus and it also produces ink. So yeah that's just kind of what happened and what I ended up with. Oh, and you can also add tea tree oil to your mushroom mix if it starts to go a bit funny or starts to smell at all. I am absolutely no painter, but I had so much fun painting this mushroom with a mushroom. I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. Here's me feeling super happy with myself. I'd love to see if you guys try this out too. So yeah, let me know if you do. Much love, everybody.